Montana is a beautiful place. Being from Louisiana, we were in awe of the majestic landscapes, mountains, and clear and cool rivers and streams. Here, we found an amazing free campsite near Columbus, Montana, and decided to stay for a day or two to regroup. We had been on the road for over three months at this point without having to deal with hardly any significant weather, and we felt very blessed. That changed very quickly when we woke up the next morning to several inches of snow. We knew it was going to get colder the night before, but we're not used to the snow and didn't expect it. After a few moments of panic and thoughts of the Donner Party, we calmed down and were rewarded by truly amazing views of the Snake River. We packed up and slowly made our way out to the highway, already plowed and cleared, as I'm sure the amount of snow was nothing to someone from Montana. Just remember, be prepared for adverse weather conditions when you're in unfamiliar places and don't know the typical weather patterns. Now on to Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument. The Battle of the Little Bighorn was fought along the steep bluffs and ridges of the Little Bighorn River in southern Montana on June 25th and 26th, 1876. Warriors of the Lakota Sioux, Northern Cheyenne, and Arapaho tribes fought the men of the 7th Regiment of the U.S. Cavalry. The Battle of the Little Bighorn was a fight between two completely different cultures, the buffalo and horse cultures of the Northern Plains and the industrialized and agriculturally driven United States. In 1868, the Treaty of Fort Laramie was signed by many Lakota leaders, creating a large reservation in the western half of South Dakota. Other Lakota leaders like Sitting Bull and Crazy Horse rejected the reservation system, as did many other warriors and hunters. This led to conflicts with settlers and enemy tribes outside of the treaty boundaries. In 1874, Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer was ordered to explore the Black Hills for a future military post, but during the expedition, gold was discovered resulting in the invasion of miners and businesses to the Black Hills. This violated the Treaty of Fort Laramie. In the winter of 1875, the Commissioner of Indian Affairs required all Sioux to report to a reservation by January 31, 1876. The deadline was dismissed by the tribe and tensions continued to rise. There are a multitude of things that led up to this battle, so if you're interested in this aspect of American history or want to learn more about the great tribes of the Northern Plains, I'll leave a few useful links in the description below. We thoroughly enjoyed our day at Little Bighorn Battlefield National Monument and appreciate the significance of this place for many people. Bye.